Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measuring angles. This is standard 4.7c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got four different angles here and they are all being measured with a protractor. So a protractor is this half moon shape that you see here. It is what we use to measure angles, just like we use a ruler to measure length. So we're going to measure these angles with a protractor and really we're just looking for, you know, what is the distance in degrees, that's how we measure, between those lines. And we need it to be 45 degrees. All right, so 45 degrees, that little circle after the, the 5, that's the degree symbol. And so let's figure out what we know, because we can actually eliminate some of these. So there are three different types of angles that we've learned about so far. Acute, right, and obtuse. And right is pretty simple. We start everything with our right angle. It is 90 degrees. It is a square corner, and usually it actually has a little square right there to show us that it is a set of perpendicular lines. And so acute is going to be anything less than 90. So we start with our 90, and acute is anything less than 90, so it's going to be like small, something like that. And you see this 45 is definitely less than 90, which means I'm needing something that is an acute angle. Obtuse is going to be something larger than 90. So something kind of big like that. So for example, let's take a look at D. D is definitely larger than 90. We've got one line on the zero and your 90 is right here. And it's way past 90. So if we were to measure, we're going to start with our zeros on the outside. So we're going to measure on the outside like this. You see it goes all the way up here to 135. Right there between 130 and 140. This is 135 degrees. Now why would they put that? Well, if you look on the inside, if we were to draw a line to goes right there, this 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. This is 45 degrees. So that's 45 degrees. They just gave us the wrong side. So D is not correct, but this right here is actually what we're looking for. So it's looking like either A or B. Let's eliminate C real quick. C looks really tiny. It is acute, but it just looks way too small. So since we have no line on the zero, we just have to subtract the two. So uh, let's look on the outside. I see 40, and that looks like 53 maybe. There's a 50 and there's a 55, so 53. So really it's just 53 minus 40, and that's going to get us 13. Wow, that's very small. 13 degrees, not what we're looking for. Okay, so it's going to be either A or B, and neither of them are on the zero, so we have to do that same thing. Probably easy just to use the outside numbers. So I've got over here on B, I've got 130, and I've got 45, so I need to subtract those two. So let's do 130 minus 45, and that is going to be... 12 minus 4 is 8. Ooh, 85. That did look a bit big. It is acute, but it's barely acute. So let us hope that our answer is A, because that is the last one left. So looking on the outside again, there's my 150, 160. So this looks like 155. And that looks like 100, 120. So that's my 110. So let's do 155 minus 110 and there we go there is my 45 degrees it also works if we do the inside 70 minus 25 also gets you that same answer of 45 degrees a